In the last video, we looked at using basic maths and equations in our LaTeX documents. In this video, we are going to look at inserting graphics into our documents. Before we can start using images in LaTeX, we need to load up the graphics package. To do this, we use the use package command in the preamble and enter graphics, spelt with an X after the C instead of an S, into the curly brackets. Next, we need to upload the image we want to use into the Share LaTeX project. To do this, click the New button in the left-hand panel and select Upload File. Once your image has uploaded, it will appear in the project panel and it is now ready for us to use. I have uploaded an image called Lion, which is a PNG file. You can also use JPG files or PDF files. To put an image into the document, we use the include graphics command. Then in the curly brackets, you enter the file name of the image you want to use without the extension. If I now compile the document, my picture will appear on the page. We can use the square brackets immediately after the command, but before the file name, to give LaTeX more instructions as to how we want our image to look. We can scale the size of the image by using the word scale, followed by an equal sign and a number. For example, by entering scale equals 2, we double the size of the image. We can also change the size by setting the height and or width. When doing this, we must tell LaTeX which one we want to edit and then give it a number in centimetres. If we just change one of the two, LaTeX will keep the image's aspect ratio. To edit both of them, we simply add a comma and a space after the first argument and then add the second. We can also rotate the image by using the keyword angle followed by equals and the number of degrees you want to rotate it in an anti-clockwise direction. Although this method of including graphics is a useful one, we often want more control over the image's positioning. We may also want to add a caption and reference it. To achieve these things, we need to use the figure environment. As with all environments, we need to use a begin and end command to encapsulate it. So let's add a begin figure and end figure command either side of our existing include graphics command. You will notice that the image has now moved onto another page. We can influence where LaTeX puts the figure by adding a specifier in square brackets after the begin figure command. There are six specifiers you may want to know about. The first is a small h, which stands for here and puts the figure roughly where the code appears in the text. You can also use a small t, which puts it at the top of the page, a small b, which puts it at the bottom, and a small p which puts it on a separate page reserved for figures and other floats. An exclamation mark is also a valid specifier which will override LaTeX idea of where is a good place to put the figure. Finally, there is another specifier, a capital H, which will place the figure at exactly the place you are at in the LaTeX code. However, you need to use the float package to make this one work. You will often need to include the exclamation mark along with one of the small letter specifiers to get the figure where you want it. You may also want to use the centering command to center the figure. You can add a caption to your figure by using the caption command. If you want the caption to go above the picture, add the commands into the code above the include graphics command otherwise put it in below. Lastly, let's briefly mention labels and referencing. In LaTeX we can label items that are numbered, like figures. This allows us to refer back to a labelled item from somewhere else in the document. To label an item, use the label command and then choose a name. For example, I might label this figure fig colon lion. Then if I put a ref command somewhere in the document along with the name I chose, it will print the number assigned to my figure. Alternatively, I could use the page ref command 
to print the page number where my figure occurs. This is very useful as it means if I add figures in before this one at a later date, LaTeX will give me the right updated numbers. Here's an example of using referencing. This concludes our discussion on using images in LaTeX. In the next video, we'll look at using BibTech.